Hi everyone and welcome back to English with Malik. Well, uh, today I have come back again with an important lesson. Uh, this lesson is about uh, some expressions. You know, uh, in English language, there are uh, different expression idioms and idiomatic phrases which are used for uh, various uh, you know, reasons. Today uh, we have uh, a, a wonderful uh, you know uh, expression that we have with the weather. Okay, you know <coughs> weather has uh, different conditions, and depending on different conditions of weather, we have different expression in English language. And we are going going to study some of them today. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, the first one that we have is a frosty reception. You know, frost is when uh, the ice falls, uh, the snowflakes fall on the you know uh, on the surface, and uh, you know it kind of freezes. So that becomes quite hard and tough. So we say a frosty reception. It is actually a situation in which uh, the person that you are meeting is not happy to see you. So we say that the person is not happy to see you. Therefore, <coughs> he gave you a frosty reception. So if somebody is giving you a frosty reception, actually he uh, does not like you. Maybe he is not happy to see you. Uh, maybe like uh, there is some uh, ill will between you and him. Uh, a sentence is like, I got a very frosty reception when I rang him to check how he was doing. Okay, it is how he was doing. Well, he was not feeling well, okay, you know, and I wanted to check on him. But when I called him, uh, he spoke in such a way that uh, was very uh, kind of, uh, you know, plain. It didn't have, show any emotion and feelings. It showed that as if he didn't like it. So I said, he gave me a frosty reception. The second is, my mind is in a fog. Okay, if your mind is in a fog, actually you are confused. So when you can't decide, when you uh, don't know what to do, what not to do, uh, you are in a fog. A sentence is, I can't really think clearly. My mind is in a fog. There may be a situation because of uh, some problem, uh, because I'm in a stress, so I can't think clearly. Therefore, I'm saying that my mind is in a fog. Then we have to steal somebody's thunder. <clears throat> okay? To steal somebody's thunder. When you steal somebody's thunder, actually, uh, to use someone else's ideas to your advantage, okay? Someone else had that idea and you kind of heard it, stole it, and then you used it. So, that is to steal somebody's thunder. For instance, Sarah stole my thunder at the meeting when she proposed having an extra holiday. I had the same thing in my mind and I wanted to propose it, but <clears throat> before I could say something, she actually said that. So, I say that she stole my thunder. <clears throat> then we have <coughs> to be as right as rain. Okay, when you are as right as rain, you are actually okay. You are okay. So, um, we say that uh, I had a headache, but now I am as right as rain. I was not feeling well because of the headache, you know, the weather is changing, so uh, it's kind of affecting me or us. So, uh, therefore, I could say that I was not feeling well a while ago, but now I'm okay. When I'm okay, I say I am as right as <coughs> rain. The fifth one is to be on thin ice. You know, uh, when, uh, when, they, when it snows, uh, sometimes on on lakes especially or on small rivers or inlets there is a very thin you know uh, ice which which can be seen on the surface of lakes for example and if you walk on them you are in a very dangerous situation you know it may crack you may fall and there will be a loss of life could be so we say that uh, to be on thin ice is to be in a dangerous situation so, you are in a dangerous situation, therefore you are on the thin ice. A sentence could be, I think we are on thin ice with the manager. Why? Because the manager uh, said something and we, are, we do not agree with him and therefore he is, there is a kind of a strain between them, 
uh, he may fire us, he may, you know, uh, uh, say something which may go against us. Therefore, we are saying that we are on thin ice with the manager. Okay, uh, the next expression is to have a face like thunder. So, if you have a face like thunder, you are in a bad mood, okay. So, it's good that we do not talk to you. We do not, uh, you know, kind of get near to you. Uh, for example, I wouldn't go near the boss. He just came it with a face like thunder. So, he's in a bad mood. It's good not to talk to him. Then, to cut no ice with somebody. Well, if you do not cut ice with somebody, you make no impression on them, okay. You do not, uh, like, show what you are feeding uh what what is going inside you okay it's like a very plain face that you have so i don't really care if her father is an mpa that cuts no ice with me okay it doesn't create any impression for me i don't really care chess rambos or chasing rambos sometimes we also say it means to uh, chase something which is impossible you know follow something that is impossible if your dreams <clears throat> which are really unrealistic then uh, definitely you are chasing rambos so i think it's time you stop chasing rambos and be realistic that's my advice for you so be realistic be practical don't chase rambos then we have to get wind of something you know if you uh, get wind of something you actually uh, you you have heard something that you shouldn't have heard okay uh, it was a, a secret that you heard and now you know it so we say that uh, to get rid of something. An example is like, I think something is going to happen. One of the employee got rid of something. So now he's talking to everybody. He's saying that, okay, something is going to happen because he, ha he has uh, got the wind of something. The final one is out in the cold. If you are out in the cold, you are left alone. You are excluded. Nobody is talking to you. Nobody is giving you any importance. You know, you are like, out uh, in the cold uh, as if uh, there is uh, there is there is no you know warm clothes for you it's raining probably and you are getting cold nobody is coming to help you uh, you are kind of left alone so he stopped talking to me and i feel a bit out in the cold he used to talk to me a lot we shared a lot of things he would say a lot of things to me but something really happened between us and now he's not talking to me so I'm kind of left in the cold. Okay, uh, well, uh, this is it for uh, today. Uh, these are like 10 expressions which are with weather and uh, they are really interesting and uh, quite uh, refreshing expressions. Please use them in your uh, speaking, in your writing, especially in speaking, you can use them in writing as well and uh, improve your language. Uh, create good impression of your language on your uh, listeners and on your readers okay uh, i'll come up with uh, some uh, good uh, lesson for you in the next video until then bye